And while I'm on the subject of everyday carry items, let's talk about some guitar picks. Hmm, what do we have here? There, yeah, that is, that is a hole. There is a hole right there. Let's see if my camera will focus. Probably not. Um, the hole right here, and there's another smaller hole drilled right there. It's easiest to see on this one, or actually, the green one probably showed up pretty well too. There, you see? Compared to that hole right there. What could these be for? These are, okay, so you know, probably, I wear glasses. And if these go kaput, I am useless. So, well, okay, not useless, I can still, I can still do basic things, but I'm not, it's not legally recommended that I drive with them. Like, my, my vision ends at about my wrist when I hold my arm straight out. So it's not as bad as it could be, but that's about as far as I can read text with my glasses off. Like, how I'm holding it right now, I can make out point, well, that's a bad example because it's worn down. It looks like 0.88 millimeters, but we'll... Oh well. The purpose of this is these holes right here. If you have your glasses off and you, depending on how bad your eyes are, and you look through these, they will function like pinhole goggles and it will focus your vision. And so the different hole sizes are different focal lengths. As a backup, to glasses in case yours get lost or damaged or something like that, or somebody else has glasses get lost or damaged or something like that. This is a really light, incredibly durable way to back up that system in your life. And when I say easy to carry, okay, so my watch band right here has been replaced with a, a nylon band, which means that, here, I'm gonna take the bracelet off so it's easier to see the band actually runs under the watch instead of just stopping at the ends. This is key because I can take something nice like that and slip it between the band and the watch so that it's not against my wrist. It's, a, it's between the band and the, and the watch that way. Um, it will still fall out if you take, a, take your watch off. But I always have it on hand when I have my watch on, and I like barely ever take my watch off except to like shower and such. Now, I've been wearing this um, other than like showering and you know, went over for things like that. I've been wearing this pick underneath my watch band for three months and it hasn't fallen out except when I've taken, you know, loosened the strap to, to take it on and off. I highly recommend it that you get something heavier, like the, the Fender Heavy right here, uh, something something that you don't, aren't going to have to worry about, like, wow, actually the, uh, the, the green Tortex guitar picks are, uh, are pretty strong there. What I don't recommend you use is one of these. This is like a black nylon. If you're going to make one of these, this is such a pain to drill holes into because it it um, it leaves shavings in the hole in a way that these or these don't. So, as an everyday carry backup item, these are fantastic. I carry one in my watch, one in my wallet, and one in my hat in the, in the lining on the inside. That way I always have one and a backup in case one goes flying off like, a, like that one just did. They are incredibly cheap. You can get guitar picks at any music store for like 50 cents. So you can buy and make a bunch of them and get them out to everybody who has glasses, because lots of people have glasses. 
they work both for nearsighted people and for farsighted people, and if you have astigmatism, it might work, or you might need a weird shaped hole. I ha I'm still playing around with that. I don't have an astigmatism myself, so it's not like I can test it on me. I have to kind of wait until friends are around, and uh, drilling these holes is... Uh, drilling holes that are that small, the way that I did it was I took my knife here and just stuck it in and spun it around. It's a very laborious process. I can totally see you not being patient enough to do that, and if you are not patient enough to do that, you can buy packs of them from my shop on etsy.com slash shop slash tarbuck transom. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Um, if you have enjoyed this video uh, and found it useful to you, I urge you to thumb me up. It raises my ranking in search results and makes videos like this more accessible to more people. You could support me directly by buying something from my shop. If you think that your return, the markup on these is too high, you can always get something else like a necklace, a bracelet like the one that I showed you before, or maybe, and hang on, bear with me, yeah, a flashlight retaining cord, although in that case you will have to ship me the flashlight so I can put the retaining cord on it. This is super useful. I let loop my thumb into it from, from way up high, and then up, and it naturally puts the power stud right where my thumb is, exactly the way that I use it. I have this on all the time. Super useful, best way to carry a flashlight. Uh, this is actually, um, let's see, I want to say this is, this is 8 feet, although I've made them as large as 15. The only difference is that this piece right here gets longer, and there's a lot of different patterns we can use to shorten this up so that it's not gigantically long. You can cut and I recommend that you take a tape measure and stick it to your belt wherever it is that you would have this retaining to, and then lift your flashlight up to your chest or your shoulder or your chin or however high you want it to be and send me that measurement so that I have that to work from. And if you want more videos like this, you could subscribe. I may have already said that if I'm being redundant. this <laughs> There's going to be a button right here that is mocking me. <laughs> Um, I'm going to assume that there's not, though, because I am optimistic. Anyway, thanks for watching.